In this video, I'm going to be talking all about the straw makawara that we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm going to be talking all about what it's used for, what it's made from, what styles would use it, why you'd want this over other makawara, and I'll show you the other makawara that we have here for sale. Give you the dimensions, the weights, everything you'll need to know about straw makawara and how to get started using it. And at the end of the video, I'll put together a small montage of people using the straw makawara for hand conditioning. So, if you want to see that montage, stay where you are, and it will come up right at the end. Hello, my name is Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years, and I've been the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years. If you're liking this video and you want to have more information on martial arts products that we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts, click the icon in the bottom right hand corner of this video, subscribe to our channel and get all the latest updates and information we have on all our products. So let's get into this video and learn all we can about the straw makawara. So the straw makawara is a super traditional conditioning tool that a lot of martial arts use but mainly Japanese martial arts will use these. Now if you do do Kung Fu, Chinese martial art and you do want conditioning this is still a really good option but traditionally it would be used by Japanese martial arts, mainly karate. All it is really is a load of straw or grass in a way that's been dried out and just woven together. So loads of different like twisted rope and then all bound together around the center. So, really durable, really tough, but it will eventually like break apart as you're just repeatedly hitting it. What the stars use, and karate stars, is they'll just tie it to a post in some way. So, say, tie it to my shop. So you can tie it around a tree, or um, some people will fix a post in the ground, or um, like a good beam or something out in the garden or in a garage or whatever. And they're tied to the post, and do all kinds of conditioning. So a lot of people will want to condition up their fists, um, especially in karate, like the straight punch is a, is a big part of karate. But people will also do side on palms, they'll do like the, the edge, of their, edge of their fist, palm strikes, elbow strikes. You see a lot of different variations in the strikes. A lot of hand conditioning, but yeah, elbow conditioning as well. And, and the whole, I guess the whole point of it is to just get it flatter and flatter. So you will see Makawara in sort of the old photos and in demos and stuff of being really, really flattened. This is this Makawara, but it's just been pummeled over time flatter and flatter and flatter. So if you're buying one of these, you will need somewhere to, to mount it. Usually a nice big thick pet fence post or you know the side of a house, but make sure whatever you're hitting can take the punishment because you are going to be hitting it repeatedly over and over and over. So you do want to make sure it's tough. This isn't a piece of conditioning tool for the faint hearted. It is going to hurt whatever you're hitting it here with, mainly your hand. It is going to hurt. It's quite abrasive. It's not the softest thing. So if you haven't done any hand conditioning before, this is quite a hardcore thing to start with. But if you want the conditioning, that's kind of what you the process you've got to go through so you will find that actually your sessions on the makawara to start with are really really short maybe even just like 10 seconds 30 seconds something like that and then over time you can build up your training as your your hands harden your elbows harden be wary of that that you know it's gonna hurt you might you, you might lose a little bit of skin to start with but yeah that's something you've got to expect from from the makawara so why straw why is it made out of straw what's 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 the point of that material well Traditionally, that would be a really abundant material that, that people had to hand. So a lot of karate stuff is based off um, like what peasants would have had. So a lot of the, the weapons would have been peasant weapons like farm tools. So this again would have just been another abundant product that could be weaved into rope. So they would have had rope um, you made, made from straw and grasses. So again, they could just use traditional materials to make to make training equipment so again it's just going back to that time when there wasn't much at hand and people just used what they had but it works perfectly if if you want to get nice strong skin nice strong hands it's a perfect perfect tool for them so i mentioned a little earlier about the stars that might use them so like i said it's mainly karate that's going to be using them sort of empty hand styles from japan 
that want to get really hard hands, hard elbows for, for bare knuckle striking basically. You do get ninjutsu guys buying these for, for a bit of hand conditioning. They tend to do have a much bigger variation so they do cover cover conditioning. But yeah, karate is the main style that you see using these coming out coming out of Japan. Also, we do get some kung fu guys buying these. A lot of, say the Shaolin style has a lot of conditioning. A lot of the Southern styles has conditioning. So they may use other, other things like the canvas wall bags, but this would actually be a really good tool for the for the for the kung fu guys. Might be worth it if you do southern Shaolin, Shaolin. It's worth thinking about. One of these. So at Enzo, we have a good selection of makawara. So not only do we have the straw rope makawara, we also have the leather sprung makawara boards, the canvas padded makawara, or the large canvas padded makawara. Now, not makawara board, but lots of people use the canvas wall bags for hand conditioning. So let's have a quick look at the dimensions of the straw makawara. So all in all, it's around 15 inches. And the actual rope bit on the makawara is 10 inches or 25 centimeters. Now the diameter is gonna vary a bit. Again, it's pretty natural product, pretty organic in terms of its build. But this one is about four inches or 10 centimeters. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here is a short montage of people using the traditional straw makawara. watching i hope it was useful remember to subscribe click the icon in the bottom right hand corner of the video and get all the latest updates from this channel thanks very much and i'll see you soon cheers